Hello, good morning, and a very warm welcome to this oneness session. My name is Els. We started this uh, oneness project in May 2020, as several of us working for One Point Consulting or meditating on a regular basis. And we felt it might be a good idea to share some of these ideas with a wider audience. The meditation we practice is called Raicha Yoga. It's the yoga of the mind. We have so far uh, had more than 90 guest speakers every Friday, 9 a.m. It's every fortnight now. And we ask them to share some of their ideas about a particular topic, but also to guide us into a short meditation. All the sessions have been recorded and they are available on YouTube. Today, I'm very, very pleased to welcome Denise, who joins us from the south of France. Denise has been practicing uh, and meditating uh, Raja Yoga meditation for the past 46 years. She has established meditation centers in Germany, in Canada and the US. She also coordinated the Overseas Communications Center at the Gottliwood Studio in Rajasthan in India. And during the years that she lived in India, I think this was about seven years, she also um, worked on a diploma course in education in values and spirituality. Um, and that course is currently being taught at several universities in India and also other parts of Asia. So very, very warm welcome to you, Denise. And the topic for today is uh, faith and courage. Thank you very much, Els. So faith and courage is tremendously important because um, what's happening to all of us is we experience one kind of challenge after another. And it is human nature to consider that if things are not working out for me, it means... Um, Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, or I'm not up for it, or um, I've done something to prevent it from happening. You tend to take the blame yourself. I think this is partly because we um, interpret the concept of karma to mean in every case that if things are going well, it means it's my good karma. And if things are going badly, it means it's my bad karma. But this is actually a very simplistic um, approach. These spiritual concepts are deep, mystical, and need to be interpreted on many different levels. And this is where the question of faith and courage comes in. And I'd also like to bring in the idea of conscience, because I think conscience is really a very good indicator. Many people look to external sources for approval and disapproval um, because people don't have faith in themselves and they tend to turn over their sense of self to um, higher authority, a mentor, a teacher, someone who they consider very important and they consider their opinion very important and they are um, not completely secure in the self. And I think a person who practices and studies spirituality does it for coming into your own power. And that means that you do arrive at a very clear faith in yourself. When you consult your conscience at every level and you make sure that what you do corresponds to your convictions, uh, your sense of right and wrong, and that you are sure about your position in this regard, uh, 
independently of how things work out. I think it's also very important when you are encountering a challenge or when you are starting a big project or you have something that you want to accomplish, um, it is in the nature of things that there will be obstacles and sometimes it may seem beyond your capacity. And again, this is where faith and courage comes in. Faith in yourself, faith that what you're doing is right, that it's purposeful, that you deserve to have it, that you're not looking for external approval, but all of this is coming from yourself and your connection with the universe, with the divine, with the, um, the divine plan. You are valid, valuable, you have a place, you have a role, and you need to be able to do this on your own and in relationship with the divine. And faith in yourself is really very important. Because if you don't have faith in yourself, then you will sabotage your chances and you will not do what you could do. Destiny is a mysterious thing. Everyone has a destiny. Um, but not everybody understands that a destiny is like a potential and you have to do your bit to bring that destiny into a practical reality. And it's up to you whether you make it a reality or whether you get in the way of it being a reality. And there is a very beautiful sentence in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita that is well known, but not many people know that it comes from the Gita. And that is that you are your own best friend and you are your own worst enemy. So you don't want to be your own worst enemy. So many do that, but with faith in yourself believe in yourself, trust yourself, and you become your own best friend. And when there are obstacles or people are against you, circumstances are against you, there will be a shadow of doubt that comes up. And of course, faith and doubt are in opposition to each other. And so there are external challenges that you can meet, but then you also have to meet the internal challenges which take the form of doubt in the self. And for doubt to come is just a test. And when the feeling of doubt comes, you have to understand that it has a job to do and its job is to prevent you from moving forward and your job is to move forward anyway and to dismiss and disregard the feelings of doubt. Consulting with your conscience is important because sometimes a feeling of doubt is actually coming from your conscience to let you know that what you're planning maybe hasn't been adequately thought out or it's not the right time or it is indeed too big for you and so your conscience will let you know that maybe you need to rethink this. But feeling of doubt can come just as easily from a uh, sense that do I deserve this? Um, can I do this? Am I up for it? And of course you are. But that feeling of doubt, of self-diminishment, comes as a test from the inside. And so you need to distinguish, is this a message from uh, 
something like a, a negative energy or is this a message from your conscience is this a message from just weakness character weakness and so in the practice of Raj Yoga a lot of importance is given to this power of discernment and there are many times especially if you are an innovator you get a clear vision a clear idea of what is needed next but everyone around you says nope bad idea what are you doing that's not the right thing you should not be doing that but deep inside there is a clear sense that yes this is what is needed and you do it and you overcome whatever's coming from the outside and the internal doubts and of course you have to have courage and there is another very beautiful sentence that uh, is good to remember a good aphorism that one step of courage and you get a thousand steps of help in return and again the power of discernment is very important in this you need to discern that yes this is the right thing to do and uh, even if it's different even if it's big uh, it's right and so take a step of courage and it's like taking a risk because there's never any guarantee take your position take your risk do that and then watch how the thousand steps of help just are carrying you forward in the most beautiful way and then you see uh, after you have taken the steps you never see beforehand but after you've taken the steps you see that you are vindicated that you were right but at the time of taking your steps of courage and the step of faith in the self it is like um, jumping blindfolded off a tall building you have no idea what's going to happen um, so faith and courage and the power of discrimination can carry you very very far forward and the worst thing is to let yourself get overcome by doubt and not do it you spend the rest of your life regretting that you just didn't have that courage but if you do have that courage and you do it anyway you feel so good at the end and the way people look at you when they see that yeah you do have faith in yourself and you did take that step of courage and you stepped out into the unknown they actually give you a lot of respect and regard for that because they know that um, you have to be up for it to take that step of courage take that leap into the darkness and um, and then you get the fruit of your courage and uh, when you do that you move forward um, it opens up the way for you to do more you see so faith in yourself faith in the rightness of your vision faith that you deserve uh, to, to be fulfilled and fulfillment is really I think a very important purpose of life and fulfillment has very much to do with making your vision practical making your dream a reality your dream not a pipe dream but a real uh, clear uh, not a desire because you are greedy but a desire to do something meaningful to actualize who you are what your potential is and uh, 
to make it there and then it becomes I think very often a springboard for even greater things so it is um, it is very important I think that having faith and courage is connected with the willingness to be alone um, many people find it very difficult to be alone and they look for support from here, from there, from people, from circumstances. Of course you can never really be totally alone because you are always connected with the Divine. But to be seriously connected with the Divine and have that Divine um, energy coming with you and supporting you, you need to let go of crutches, um, taking support from things and people that will probably fail you. But in my experience, taking support from the Divine, even if it means really being on your own to do it, uh, always uh, lets you know that, yeah, that was the right thing, uh, keep going, you're on the right track, and um, I think it's connected with the capacity to do pioneering work because somebody has to take the first step and swing their machete and open up a path and then others will follow. But if you can be that somebody with a bit of faith and a bit of courage, then... Um, then it's, it's really good. You leave a legacy and people um, understand your value and recognize your um, relevance. And all of this adds up to uh, a sense of fulfillment from the inside as well as from the outside. So let us... Um, Take a moment and meditate on the state of consciousness where you're operating with faith and courage. You will see the radiant circles and this beautiful point of white light in the middle. Focus your attention on that and allow yourself to be clear, steady, still, silent. Feel the essence of your being, your soul, the strength that is there, the light the purity, the heart is clean, and your potential is waiting for you to tell it, yes, go for it, you deserve it. You are a good soul and you have something to contribute, to offer, something beautiful, something special. It's in you. Have faith in your value. Just feel that strength and know that it is for real. Faith in yourself is not a blind thing, but based on recognition of who you are and what you are capable of. Thank you.
turn your mind upwards to the divine power that is beyond and open yourself to that. Let the energy flow through you and awaken the flower of your creativity. Take a step of courage to let it be, to let that wonderful potential awaken. Be willing and have faith. It is myself together with that divine energy moving into practical reality for something beautiful, something wonderful to manifest in a practical way. Let all your worries and tension fall away as this meaningful, powerful potential flows through you and out into the space around you. Feel stillness together with strength, purity, that energy is there with you, flowing through you. It is part of you and you are part of it. Feel the silence and allow this beautiful feeling to stay with you through your day. Any test that comes you recognize it, you understand what it is, what it's for, and you apply this energy to transcend it, to pass the test, and continue your forward movement with courage and with faith. Thank you very much. Thank you, Denise. Uh, that was really very powerful meditation commentary. Um, I can really feel the stillness and silence that you were talking about. Um, so thank you for that. And also I've taken a few notes while you were talking and what I particularly like is when you were explaining that there will be obstacles in life, no doubt, but I will need to have that courage and, and faith in myself um, not to look for external approvals like the crutches that you're talking about, but to have that connection uh, with the universe, with the divine power. And also very nice when you explained that uh, one step of courage from my side and 1000 steps of help will come my way. So really great, Denise. Uh, thank you so much. 